Viking Circle, season number three. No better way than do it with number three himself. So I already know. Yeah, hey, how you doing, man? Doing good. We out here in Minnesota. Man. Living. Have you uh, got your bearings around here yet? Or like, what's your initial thought of Minnesota? It's cold. Yeah. That's what I got on it. It's cold. Finna be a lot of snow in a couple months. Yep. That's what everybody talking about. So I'm getting my coat ready. <laughs> getting all that together. Frederick, Maryland, right? Yeah. Home of Francis Scott Key. Home of Chuck Foreman, former Vikings running back. And home of Jordan Addison. What's it, what's it like growing up in the DMV? And it was cool, you know. Had a lot of friends. Okay. But I kind of stayed to myself a little bit because it ain't always positive, you know. Growing up initially, it was cool. I got a lot of close friends still out there, balling. Mm -hmm. Ain't really too much to do, so everybody was just playing sports and stuff. I hear when you were uh, a kid um, that your nickname was Two Car. Yeah, I got that from the village. What, what is what is Two Car? What, what's the what's the origin behind that? My number was I was number two. I played quarterback. Okay. So I don't, I don't know where the car came from. I guess it's because I was fast, but. Yeah, I got that nickname from the village. And I, and I also heard that, uh, you know, when you were a kid, you, you didn't eat much. Nah. Like, yeah, nah, your mom nah, had to force you to eat. I just wasn't hungry. Okay. When I got in high school, my <laughs> my coach used to, his wife used to pack me breakfast and lunch. Okay. When I was going to school, because I wouldn't eat lunch or nothing. So they used to bring me lunch, muffins, all type of stuff. It was five, too. I also heard that uh, when you didn't eat, you had some of these. Oh, yeah. Let me get some of <laughs> These and the side patch kids. So you go side, but you know. So what I just learned the other day is that um, the green mm -hmm. is not green apple anymore. It's lime. So the green skittles are lime. Is there a favorite skittle that you that you like? Purple. Great. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know, I know you just signed to the Vikings and we wear the color purple, but why purple if it's not that? I just like purple, purple Airhead. Okay. Jolly Rancher. <laughs> the purple just be good to me. Man, I never knew green was lime though. Really? No. Green apple was the worst flavor in the Skittles pack. You think so? Absolutely. This was in too. <laughs> Are you going to bring the Boletnikoff trophy to Minnesota? Yeah, I'm bringing that out here. My mom got it right now. I was been supposed to get it, but you know, she tucked that. She took that and tucked it. But I got to get that back. I'm going to bring it out here. So you want it? So you want it for your mom, and then you're going to take it back from her? She got every. She got all my jerseys. I, I mean, I need some, some type of hardware. Well, hopefully that that hardware, you know, wearing purple, hosting that Lombardi is the ultimate goal. And mm -hmm. uh, just understanding that you went from Pitt to out west, and now you're in the Midwest. It, was there anything that you learned from the West Coast that's a part of you today? Just that West Coast swag. Okay. I that? already had my own swag, but just going out there and just. Seeing all the kids, they all in 707, they had the stack socks. Mm -hmm. And I just I just fell in love with like their own little swag that they had. Okay. So I kind of just, that just stuck with me. You're, you're a big gamer, right? Yeah. Madden? Madden, 2K, all that. So are, are you the type of person that boosts all your ratings in Madden when you create a player? Oh yeah, I'm my dude, eight, <laughs> if my dude, if my rating low, I gotta boost them up. Cause I gotta be behind them. I can't be out there getting clowns. So like, are you like six five? Six, like, tell me, tell me what your ratings. Are. Oh no, nah, I'm real, my real height. Okay. Real weight, dumb fast. <laughs> I'm putting all my speed up, catching all that guy good. Okay. Now you, you're actually gonna be in the game. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. What should your ratings be in Madden before it come out? I'm I'm biased, so I feel like I should be at least an 80. Okay. But. They gonna buck me on my speed cause I ran at 449. Okay. But it's cool. After the season, I'm gonna go, it's gonna go up. So I ain't even tripping about it. That's the ultimate goal. I just gotta stay down to after the season. After the season, 95. We gonna be there? <laughs> oh, 95. They can get me on the ultimate team though. They said I'm like that on here. Oh, you get, they can get you on the ultimate team? Yeah, I'm like a 90 something. Really? Mm-hmm. Bomb saying? squad. You already played? I ain't played, played it, but my homeboy sent me a video. I said it was like that? Yeah, he said I dropped the catch one time, he took me out. I'm like, come on, bro. <laughs> For a guy who wasn't even ranked in the top 100 in high school, what are some things that motivate you from understanding that that's got you to where you are right now? You just gotta stay down. All that just be outside noise and just publicity on different schools and stuff. So I ain't never really got into that. You just run your own race, put the work in, and it's going like the, the smoke going clear and they gonna see what's up. So just stay down, man.